Well, there is no denying this man's striking credentials. Prevailing wisdom is he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. He has to. You know, this is what got him to the show. It was being able to use the hands to set up the kick. We all talk about the high-level boxing background of this young man. But as he's developed, he's developed great knees. Yeah. He's developed great timing, great counter skills, and also the beautiful right high kick. The right high kick is something he eyes very well as he follows with a jab right hand, left hook. High kick comes over the top, and he can put you to sleep. No doubt about it. He will try to put on a striking clinic once again here tonight. can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, champ. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem at Jabbar to stay undefeated. Right. If you can do that, you can do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once. I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. More than a decade separates these two fighters when it comes to the age, with big differences in height and reach. Now to get us started, the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buck. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Dan Bergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Pohang, South Korea, Chico. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon. All right, grip the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. The fighters touch him up. You ready? Are you ready? All right, crowd getting excited as this fight gets underway, and you hit fighter on this UFC roster especially. But on one side, you have a definite striker taking on a true 5 2 And you see a guy in the striker who knows exactly who he is. He knows where the fight needs to be. He knows what he has to do in order to be successful. Let's see if he can keep his opponent off of him. Well, he told you off the top he had the reach advantage, and you saw it right there with that punch. Throwing that jab now again, the fighter evades. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the field. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Nice punch lands over the top. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Oh, nice. Nice kick. 
checks the leg kick. Back to the jab now, no good. Oh, that'll get his attention. Nice counter on the uppercut. Ooh, what a head kick. Just out of range with that strike. Ooh, we what a right hand by this young man. Oh, combination lands, and it seemed like almost every strike found the target. He's so accurate when he decides to attack. It is a sight to behold. Oh, man, this guy kicks like a mule. So hard. He kicks so hard every time you see him drive his shit into his opponent. Oh, big head kick lands. Nice loop and punch. Oh, nice job to land a knee to the body. Man, I wish I was that tall. He is throwing a fast, straight, hard jab. That's not a feeler jab. That's one that's really knocking the head back. Lands a nice straight punch there. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. What do you follow up with a great punch like this with? I'm excited to see what happens. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Another straight left. And he lands a kick to the leg now. Pretty good work on the feet tonight by Lee. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Lee gets tagged with a kick now. Let's see if he can wrap. Well, what a round it was, especially from a striking standpoint, DC, take us through. High-level striking. I mean, this is what people come through the doors to see. Two men stand on a quarter, chest to chest, forehead to forehead, and let it all fly. I'm surprised nobody went out, but it does excite me for the next round. Round two is upon us. Your thoughts on round one, Shannon? Round one was a very close round. Both guys had their moments, but nobody has really went out ahead of the race as we go into the second round. Some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, hey. if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand. Jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man, let this guy have the whole thing. Well, he's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Nice job there to find a home for that jab. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Just over three minutes to go now. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh, and there's the double leg takedown, DC. That is just too good, too easy. Too good, too easy. The timing was just too good. Before he could even defend, he's already off of his feet. He got his foot on the hip, and now he's throwing up a triangle attempt. He's going to try to move his left arm across to get pressure on the choke. Watch triangle, watch triangle. There he is, he's moving to the finishing position. Now watch, he goes parallel right next to his opponent. When it's time to finish. And this might just be a matter of time. Wow. Ooh, right into side control, DC. This is where you want to be now because you get to make your opponent decide. They try to turn back into you, you can attack guillotine. If they turn away to try to get to your knees, you throw your hooks in and you got all your rear choke submissions. remain in the round. <laughs> 20 
20 seconds left to go in round two. 10 seconds. All right, north-south position now, DC. We'll see how he chooses to advance from here. All right, that's the end of round number two. Right now we take a look back at some of the action in that previous round, DC. A lot to like on both sides, Rick. I mean, both were intent on going forward. And what happens when nobody wants to take a step back? They meet in the middle. That's exactly what they did, and they both found success over the course of that round. All right, pretty good back and forth action in the previous two rounds. Your expectations here as this next round gets on. I expect the action to really pick up now. These guys have to lay it on the line as we start to approach the end of the fight. Able to check that kick as well. Oh, spinning breakfast. He didn't telegraph that one at all. And he continues to work the body here. You gotta flip his hip into that kick. Oh, he lands a hook there, DC. That was one of his more significant lands of the fight. He can land that strike over and over again. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Oh, he postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now, the ground and pound starts. Busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Back to the feet now. Oh, here comes the kick. That one blocked by Lee. Well, we wondered earlier why there weren't as many body strikes. He's making up for lost time here. Shot to the body connects, and that bears watching. That's going to hurt this opponent. Back to his feet. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Head kick lands. Nice jab by him there. He's going nose hunting tonight, huh? Yeah, he's great with the jab. And not only as a setup, he really is trying to get damage off every time he throws this punch. Nice jab, follows it up with a nice right hand. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Nice punch by Lee. Oh, he's really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds. And it's the exact sense of urgency that you want to see from a fighter take the judges out of it. And he landed the right hand there. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Punches blocked. Man, look at the redness starting to appear on the left side of his body. His opponent would be wise to continue to attack there. Almost in range with the straight left, but that's a miss. Twenty seconds left. How about this kicking game on full display tonight? Kick back to back, just truly mixing up the target. Tight to behold. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship rounds. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last round. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Well, no problem getting inside to land that straight punch. He's got a huge edge in reach, and he made good use of it there. 
Nice punch by Lee. Just unable to quite find that range. Big head kick lands. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Lee's got the tie clinch. Let's see what he can do with it. Just over three minutes now to go. That shot is blocked by Lee. Oh, collar tie. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Try to establish that jab. Nice straight punch. It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Nice head kick. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about gun. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. A game of inches right there. Boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Look at the torso on the right side. Major bruising, and it's only getting worse. Final minute. from the full to the half guard here. Opponent not having it. Well, any time you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Oh, trying to pass here, but Dikembe Mutombo style he gets denied. Block! Great job blocking that pass by the bottom fighter. Buzzer sounds for the end of round four, 20 minutes in the books. All right, a lot of high-level striking action in that last round. Daniel, take us through it, if you will. Tit for tat. Who has the best chin? It seemed as though they were looking for that answer. Both guys took risk. What a fantastic round. All right, next round is now underway. I thought there was pretty good back and forth action in the previous frame. Yes, it wasn't a bar fight. It wasn't two guys throwing the kitchen sink at each other. But you did see time when they came together and you saw the skill level of these two fighters. Look at how he turned his hip into that leg kick. He lands with the kick there. No pad on that foot. No shit guard. He's taking all of that kick every time he throws it. Oh, and yet another knee finds the target. So a huge moment here. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. Nice punch, Lynn. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Right under the elbow, the body kick lands. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Oh, oh nice. wow, you don't see that every day. Beautiful Imanari roll. Right into a heel hook attempt now. Oh, wow, oh! oh. Where you don't want to be, though. All right, getting late in the fight. It has been all action to this point as we go down the wire. Could be anybody's fight. Anybody's fight. Both of these guys prepared very well for this competition, and it showed in such a tremendous fight. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Lee. 
Man, this is some serious ground and pound here, DC. He's not just staying busy for the sake of staying busy. These strikes are doing damage. Oh, yeah, no pity pat to this guy. Ah. This guy's trying to land, and he's trying to land effective strikes. Ninety seconds and counting remain in the fight. All right, we'll see if he can apply pressure inside his opponent's guard here, DC. Now he's attacking the triangle. Triangle looks pretty tight, DC. I'm no Brazilian jiu-jitsu black belt, but maybe not good here. No, it looks like it's getting in deep. Oh! Now he falls back into the finishing position. Somehow stays in the fight. All right, side control now, DC. When you get side control in the fight, what are you looking for? When I get to the side control of the fight, and I believe this young man should do the same thing, it's secure first. Grab everything in tight. Make sure your elbows are in. Make sure you've got something locked in so your opponent doesn't just score him away. Punch short punches, but try to make the opponent make a choice. Either he turns back into you, you take your front headlock, or he turns in the opposite direction. You throw your hook in, and you start looking to get a choke off. The final horn sounds. All right, let's look back at some of the action, DC. They go the distance tonight, but you gotta think he won over the judges with his striking acumen tonight. Yeah, you got to watch one of the best strikers in the entire UFC. He did everything so well, and in my opinion, he should cruise to a very easy decision. Official decision is now in. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest 48 47. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, Chico! All right, congratulations to him. He is your winner by unanimous decision and certainly a dominant performance here today. Yeah, he did a great job of just dictating the control. All the engagements of this fight.